you're talking shit. Right. It's not a home. Okay? Okay. All right, so. Come out of uh, Romans 4 and 16. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I just got like real emotional. Uh, okay, so this randomly happened, okay? wasn't planning on it it just happened right uh, but what I see here is what's the word I'm looking for where's process but I'm trying to look for another word um, stages I'll say stages, right? And a lot of times we don't know what these stages are. We don't know how these stages go, okay? Sometimes we think we've done one thing, right? When we really haven't. And then when something happens, that let us that lets us know that the thing we thought we did, we did, now we really have. Okay, I hope that is not confusing. 144 on my timer. That. So, in other words, <clears throat> for example, okay, I was just talking about releasing things, right? People, places, whatever. Um, and there was something that I thought I had released, right? I mean, in my mind, I released it. I did. In my heart, another story. Like, it's 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 more difficult to get somebody or something out of your heart, okay, than it is your mind, okay? But it happened, right? Literally just happened, right? And this is how I know. <clears throat> like I just became frustrated right cause I'm tired you know like a lot of us are I'm tired <laughs> you know what I'm saying and we get to that point thank you Holy Spirit Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said, breaking point. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what it is. Thank you. <clears throat> so I start trying to decipher, am I being spiritually attacked or is this something coming up out of me? And as I start to pray, uh -huh. coming towards the end of my prayer, confirmation um i start crying and weeping uncontrollably like because i'm telling god like look abba like i'm tired of i'm tired <laughs> like i'm tired And I guess whatever I was holding, like when I said that, and I also said, please, please, what I said was, please cut the cord. That's what I said, right? Like I'm yelling it, screaming it, crying it. Like I do not want this. I don't want this no more. I don't want this to come back. I don't want this. Like, you promised me someone better. You promised me something better. I want that. I don't want this. And I started to cry. 
for a good 10 minutes. And I felt myself trying to, I felt anger trying to come upon me, but I wouldn't let it. I just rebuked it and, and you know, <clears throat> trying to hold myself and not be spiritually attacked while I'm going through whatever I'm going through. It's not easy, might I add. Um, mind you, I haven't cried in a while, right? This is another reason why, uh, another thing that things can hide in our hearts that we, or, or we can put a cap on it and not even know that we've done that, right? Thinking that we let it go, it's released. When no, we really put a cap on it, <clears throat> right? Tried to hide it, bury it in the dirt. So we didn't have to, you know, feel it or deal with it or whatever. But as soon as I said that, and I was, you know, crying like I was for like 10 minutes, like, I know that that was cleansing me and that I was releasing something. Afterwards, I knew that. And things are only ready to, what I know for a fact, things are only ready to be released when you are tired of them. Right? No matter what it is, habits, whatever, things are only ready, truly ready to be released when you are tired of them, when you cannot take not another second of it. Then release comes, deliverance, however it comes, in form of crying, however it comes. Holy Spirit just said four or five of you are going through the same thing right now. Specifically right now in this moment. Four or five of you are going through the same thing. You might have just got done crying. You might not even know why you're crying. It's because whatever it is that you were holding on to in your heart, that you let go of in your mind, finally poured out of you. It finally poured out of you. So in other words, it's released. In other words, the cord is cut. In other words, you are delivered. All right. You don't have to. And you may have done this by accident, like. Of course, we know better, so we don't want to you know, do, do things on purpose, but it's possible. It's possible to think that you got rid of something, but you didn't. Things like to hide all the time. But me looking back right now, looking hindsight, that's exactly what happened. I reached my breaking point and I decided I'm tired. I mean, past tired. I told y'all once I make a decision, I made it. Okay. I made that decision for real, which is why what happened happened. There's still some pain left in there. And I had to let it out. Am I the most rambunctious, happiest person in the world right now? No. <laughs> no. But I'm not holding that anymore. I do feel the difference. I think it'll probably take me a couple days to, you know, level out with it. But for the most part, it's it's gone. It's poured, it's poured out. <clears throat> I didn't even read the verses yet. So... And subconsciously, what the Holy Spirit is telling me right now, subconsciously, a lot of you, a lot of us may have held on to something or someone so long because we didn't feel like we were going to get a chance to have something better or get a chance to be with someone better, right? Or 
be with someone else at all or something else at all, right? Sometimes we think like that. <clears throat> ten, ten, I'm about to remember. Hmm. Sometimes we think like that. Um, that's negative thinking, right? You got to come back. Right? If you pray for love, you know, true love, you pray for that. That is your heart's desire. You will have it. You will have it. Yes, it may not come from whom you saw yourself planning your life with. It may not come from, you know, sometimes I don't like that part. You know? Like you'll be expecting one thing and then you know, something else will happen and you're like, it kind of makes you afraid to expect specific things, you know. Um, but it's a form of settling. It's a form of settling. And we don't settle. Especially not for things that are beneath us that are, no. 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 So... If you prayed for that, you're going to get it, all right? I know you're tired. I know you're tired of waiting. I know it feels like just you're just waiting for this opportunity or this person to show up. It's a yearning. It's a yearning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said that means that they're close. Or it is close. That means that it or they are close. Because you are yearning now. It's like your soul, your spirit is calling out to your other half, right? Or whatever is meant for you. The Holy Spirit is saying this to me while I'm sitting here. Before it was a want, right? You wanted to you know, move on to this, you know, the, your real person or move on to the, your, your, your real career or, or, you know, what your purpose is. But now it's a yearning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because, one, two, three, four, my timer. Now it's a yearning because what was what needed to be released is released. So now your spirit is yearning. Yearning for the real thing. Yearning for what you have been waiting on turns from wanting it to yearning it right i don't really know i don't know the definition definition of yearning uh verbatim but how i translate that okay um uh, yearning is like calling it's like calling something in or calling you know you're yearning for it like you 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 gotta have it it's like you're thirsty for it right it's like your spirit is like i can't i can't you know even though you can you can go on you can do you know but your spirit is like i don't want to i like i'm ready now i'm ready like, a lot of us have been waiting for a long time. A lot of us have been through plenty of fake relationships, plenty of distractions, plenty of uh, distractive uh, 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 jobs or whatever the case is. There's always a whole bunch of duds that come in before the real thing does. It's a whole bunch of fakes and frauds that appear before the one appears. Okay, or the opportunity appears. Some of y'all I'm talking about work situation. Some of y'all I'm talking about an old relationship and walking into a new one. Okay, I've been talking about this in more than a few videos. Okay, so that means that it's right at the door. Like it's right there. Right there. Some of y'all just yearning for love. Reciprocal love. I mean, I'm just yearning for uh, uh, respect. A fair chance. A job that you like. A career. 
Some of y'all just want to get your foot, your feet set in the new, where you're going, where you're facing, where you're focusing. You just want to get your feet planted in there. Right? So ain't nothing pull you up. 15, 15 on my timer. Romans 4 and 16. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace. To the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who was the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. It's not the verse I was looking for, but I guess I needed to say that one. For that last part, most importantly, God who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Keep saying it. Keep saying it as if you have it already. Okay? This ain't fake it till you make it. I hate when people say that. This is not fake it till you make it. No. It's coming up higher. Speak to who you know that you are in God. Speak to what you know that belongs to you and who you know that belongs to you. Not like a property, but companion. Speak it as though it already were, as though it already was, as though it already is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Speak it as though it already is. I know you probably don't want to hear that. I know you probably don't want to hear that because I don't want to hear that right now. But speak. Call it those things which be not as though they were. Call it those things that be not as though they were. Okay. Oh, Spirit, help me play off of the uh, verse I was looking for, please. Abraham. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Abraham, okay? Remember when Abraham, when God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son on the altar? Right? Abraham didn't question it. He didn't even tell his wife what he was going, what he was doing, nothing, right? Because she know he knows he would have stopped him, okay? Didn't tell nobody, not even his son, until he got up there, and his son was like, "All right." Right before he's about to do it, angel of the Lord came, stopped him. Why? Because God was just testing him to see his faith. To see if he trusted him. That if he told him something outlandish and crazy. That he would still follow what God has said. That's what God does. He'll tell you to do something that seems outlandish and crazy. But it will always yield the result that you're not expecting. When I was talking about the other side of faith. There's always something on the other side of that faith. Always. Always. It's either you're going to be afraid of fear and let fear keep you stuck or you're going to hop on the other side of faith. And we know God did not give us a spirit of fear but a power of love and a sound mind. We ain't scared of, we ain't scared of nothing. And nobody. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to slip as a slip. Okay. Abraham's faith, what did it say? Abraham's faith was accredited to him as righteousness. It was accredited, accredited to him as righteousness because he believed God. Without doubting, without questioning, without anything. And I believe after that, that's when God called Abraham his friend. 
either right before that or, or after that. And he called Abraham his friend. So even right now, God is doing the same thing to you. He's calling you his friend. Yes, he's your father. Yes, he's your maker. He's everything that you need him to be. Mother, father, brother, sister, whatever. And now he's calling you friend as well. Okay? Your faith is being accredited to you as righteousness because you're letting go of whatever, whoever it is, because you're letting go. Not not just in your mind, in your heart. Remember I told you, you, you got your mind and your heart, you work together, right? Well, first it was just your mind, now it's your heart too. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. First it was your mind, now it is your heart as well. Right? You can convince your mind of something and it'll it'll work, but what's in that what's in your heart, boy, boy, will it come out? It'll come out. And it came out. So let's just be a word of congratulations as well. Alright. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody right now, the enemy is trying to send you confusion. All right? Kind of trying to send you confusion. Um, trying to make you be unsure of yourself and what you're hearing, right? Or what you need to do. Um, trying to make you feel down on yourself, right? Trying to keep you in sadness. Why? So that you'll latch on to what's familiar so that you'll latch on to what's familiar to 22 22 on my timer thank you lord so that you will latch on to what's familiar instead of going forward i just heard the holy spirit say familiar spirits familiar spirits say that keep that to myself but yeah that's it um so have faith all right have faith that right now but officially let tomorrow be your first day being free free Right? Free, free. Okay. Right now, too. But I say tomorrow because tomorrow's fresh. And God's mercies are new every day. Right? Um, so, yeah. Just know that that's what's going on. Right? Ain't nothing wrong with you. Okay. Um, you're just getting rid of that last... You know, a little bit of pain, that last little bit of holding on to hope for something that has no hope in it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's gone now. All right. It's gone. Yeah. All right. All right. I love y'all, man. And, uh. No matter what, don't look back at the past. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. I don't even tell people what to do. I'm going to tell you there ain't, nothing in, there ain't nothing in your past that is good to take with you to your future. Nothing. Ain't no one. Ain't no one. All right? Let people sit with the decisions that they made over and over and over again. All right. Don't extend your hand to help the people that 
burned the bridge, blew it up, strapped dynamite to it, burned it down. I mean, unless the Lord tells you to, but I'm pretty sure in this situation I'm talking about, he's not. He's not. Okay. You let people do their witchcraft, let people be mad, let people do what they do. Because you know their ending. You know where they're going to end up before they even do. So, yeah. All right. I'll holla. Later. Peace.